Yeah, the end of Stella by Starlight. And this is Tony Winston. Welcome back to my channel, Jazz Piano College. I'm going to cover a scale today that's very similar to two other scales I've done recently. And this scale is called the Locrian Sharp II. Really the same notes as the Lydian Dominant or the Altered Scale, which I've previously covered. We're just using it in a slightly different context. So taking a look at a D minor 7, flat 5, Locrian Sharp II. Why do we call it that? Because there's a major scale that goes with this chord. That's E flat major. Right? And that's one of the modes that's called the Locrian mode. Minor 7 flat 5. You go up a half a step and play the major scale, E flat. See, it's got the same two black keys, but it's got that pesky E flat in there. And though E flat is a perfectly acceptable note on a minor 7 flat 5 chord, it's more common to play this very sweet sounding major ninth. All right, so when we take the, the, uh, the Locrian scale, which would be, it's a mode of E flat starting here, and we take the second note, which is the, we we'll call it the second note, and we'll sharp it, which means go to there, it becomes the Locrian sharp two. The same scale, usually, will go over this chord, no matter how it's being used. Like right now, right now, I'm gonna use this chord as B flat seventh, unaltered. And I can use this scale. I could use it as E altered, and I'd use the E altered scale. I could do it as D minor seven flat five and use the Locrian sharp two. And you'll notice that I use the exact same notes every time. So sometimes, you know, if I know a song really well and I'm just going to that particular chord, I, I don't even really think about what chord it is or what scale I'm playing. I just know with this chord, it's this scale, right? Anytime you play a chord like this or one of these rootless voicings or box voicings as I call them, no matter whether you call it the B flat, uh, seventh, which is unaltered, or the E seventh, which is altered, or the F minor six nine, or the D minor seven flat five. It's the same scale. Got those two black keys in it. All right. Let's not worry too much about the theory and just look at some cool stuff that'll work using this scale. Just in the key of C, I'll do a few uh, demonstrations of the minor melodic ascending scale, which we're now calling the Locrian sharp two. All right, just with those two flats. All right, and then to the G altered scale. You know, if you don't know the G altered scale, at this point you could go into the C blue scale. All right, and don't let anybody tell you not to use the blues scale. It always sounds good if it's used in the right context, and this is the right context. Using the blues scale for, for uh, the five chord and the one chord, but using the Locrian sharp two. And then to the blues scale. All right, using that, that my, nice major nine. Got, got a little bit of the F minor there. All right, because think about this. It's the same chord as F minor six, so naturally the same scale is gonna work. Even the blues scale works on that, but I can start with the blues and then kind of, you know, use a little bit of that uh, Locrian sharp two. All right. So D minor seven flat five, we've got some triad pairs, C major and B flat, okay? Now, coming from a D here, that's, you know, you just go down a whole step and another whole step for those major triad pairs, or you could start on the, on the minor third. We've got it right here in the chord too, F minor, and also G minor is a triad pair that you could use. And by using these triad pairs, you come up with some pretty cool stuff. 
there I used F minor and C major. You could try other, other pairs. Uh, you could maybe try C major and G minor. All right, let's take a look at Stella by Starlight because towards the end of this song, E minor seven flat five going to A seven. D minor seven flat five. C minor seven flat five to F. And notice, you typically you know expect a minor chord when you're doing a minor seven flat five to an altered dominant, but it goes to a major chord. So, you know, don't think that you always have to use a minor seven flat five as the two chord, or that they will, it will always go to a minor chord as the one chord. You know, everything is very flexible. So what can we do with this? Well, I can think about that triad on the seventh. I've also sometimes talked about these kind of patterns. But today I'm going to approach it a little bit differently. Instead of thinking of it as one, four, five, I'm going to think of it as a stack of fourths. Okay? So I can start this stack of fourths on the root. I can start it on the fourth. or I could start it on the seventh. So you know, if I just look at my first one there, I could start it here, here, or here. So, or here, or here, C, right? And of course I can mix those up a little bit. All right, and right here, even though I'm thinking of G, I, it's this shape, I could still start those patterns from F, B flat, and E flat. And C minor, uh, well, yeah, and uh, if you're playing a C minor six chord, you can start on the sixth, the ninth, or the fifth. <clears throat> I had to work that out just in my mind just now. Uh, but what, what we're concerned with is the minor seven flat five chord. And if we're doing it this way, the root, the fourth, and the seventh is where you can start these patterns. Uh, some nice two-fingered runs that go over these minor seven flat five chords. That's a, the Tatum idea there. Just using two fingers. The D Django Reinhardt piano. <laughs> All right. This one's a little harder because we've got so many black keys in it, but if you maybe add one more note to it. And if we want to get that nine in there, let's see how we can maybe get a two-finger run that works on that. Now, I'm just flying solo here. So. That might work. Let me see if I can do something here. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, uh, no, I don't think that's quite right. Now in two five ones, if you use these box voicings, right, it's, it's very similar to the regular chord there, and then just move it up a minor third, that's a G altered, all right? And if you're using F minor melodic ascending, 
you just go up a minor third to and then you could use this chord too instead of the box voicing like an F minor 7 flat 5 functions beautifully as a G altered Okay, uh, that's going to be a wrap for me today. Um, and like I say, almost everything that uh, you can use on the Lydian dominant scale or the altered scale or the minor melodic ascending a scale is going to work here because essentially this is just another mode of that same scale, the minor melodic ascending. 